Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Uh, thanks for watching my Wearator Instant Wine Aerator product review. Uh, those of you that have subscribed have realized that in the past I've actually reviewed uh, more than one uh, wine apparatus. I'm not going to pretend that I'm some aficionado, as you can see, of the about $7, $6 bottle of Barefoot Merlot, which I actually very much enjoy, uh, and this other Behringer, which I've never heard of or tried. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon that I'm not much of an aficionado. However, I do enjoy drinking wine. I'm just not going to pretend to have a bunch of class. I do not. Uh, which doesn't bother me. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I have my instant wine aerator, which this is actually not new. The box looks new thanks to my storage system. Uh, but at the same time, I've had this for more than three months. Uh, I purchased it to uh, replace my uh, Viniera wine aerator, which uh, I did do a review on. However, this there's this little plastic nipple on bottom that broke. Uh, so, you know, I went ahead and bought the Wearator. It was a little bit cheaper. And to be honest, I've noticed the function of the Wearator to be uh, slightly better, in my personal opinion. Um, it does actually have a, you know, a larger layer of bubbles or whatever. Uh, but the wine, I would say the tastes are very similar. Um, but at the end of the day, I do prefer the Wearator simply because I have it and I don't think that it uh, has prone to nipple breakage. It's a little bit more flexible and not that brittle, brittle ABS plastic. But enough trash of veneer. I didn't really hate the veneer. I was just upset that the nipple broke. Uh, and looking at the Amazon reviews, I realized that was a very common issue. Uh, and the company Venera uh, doesn't actually exist, I guess, because I've emailed every email address I could find from Venera and never got a response on any of them. That gives me a sad face. Uh, Wearator actually has a very responsive customer support team, uh, which, you know, I guess a lot of people don't care about. I actually like that somebody will answer the phone, answer the email, uh, if I have a problem just to buy a replacement part, uh, which Wearator actually does. I tested them before I bought it. Okay, uh, so I've had this for a little 90 days. Let's go ahead and get cracking. I will get rid of the wine. Trust me, we're going to get into that. Uh, you'll see at the box, it does kind of look like a gear shifter. Uh, looking at the reviews on Amazon, some of them were like, oh, this is not a gear knob. No, it's definitely not a gear knob and not to be used uh, while driving. All right, camera died, but let's go ahead and continue. Uh, it says it's essential for bold red wines, uh, but like I said, I actually use it for pretty much anything. Uh, the wine I drink most often is actually a Barefoot California Moscato, uh, and I do run it through the aerator. Uh, not just for the aeration, to be honest, I don't think uh, the Moscato is that much affected. It's not as affected as like the Merlot or the Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, but uh, I run it through the uh, wearator just for ease of dispensing. I mean, you just push the button and it comes out. Uh, I'm a, actually a pretty clumsy guy, uh, so it actually just saves me having quite a few wine stains and sticky stuff everywhere. Uh, so six times more surface oxidation. Of course, I have no way of measuring surface oxidation, uh, but you can see uh, all the oxygen being forced in by the line of bubbles, and we'll get to that. Uh, selected white wines, ideal for that's just some marketing stuff. Precise pour technology, four AAA batteries, uh, dispenses about 250 bottles. Uh, I'll go ahead and agree with that. I haven't went through 250 bottles, but I don't know, I'm probably at like 20, 25. I'm not a huge drinker. Uh, works with most wine bottles and uh, okay, comes with where to user manual and two tubes. Uh, and on the back here, luxury reinvented, so just more stuff. Takes four AAA batteries. Uh, the important thing is it dispenses 1.2 ounces exactly every two seconds. Um, while I haven't actually measured that, I will say that the uh, output is very consistent, um, you know, uh, overall. So, nothing else really crazy on the box gives you the stuff so let's go ahead and get into it overall it's a you know fantastic looking retail box <laughs> all right that was a fail all right so this is what you're going to find inside i have repacked it uh you'll notice it does look a little bit used there's some scratches and stuff on it uh but overall uh it's stood up uh for the nine months that i've had it oh still have batteries in it so that's good uh you basically spin it like this you can see that button lock out uh and then you can see four AAA batteries uh and those are the original AAA batteries that i put in it like i said I'm guessing 20, 25 bottles, uh, but overall, I mean, it's, it's fine. Uh, so there we go, and basically this is all the stuff. That's the push button. You can kind of hear activated. It does vibrate a little bit to let you know the button is pushed. Uh, and you can see here uh, that this is actually what slides in the bottle. Uh, please note that uh, you actually have to have a sealed container. How it works is it pressurizes the bottle. Uh, through this little thing and then you use this and the pressure actually forces it up the tube there uh, So the thing is if you just stick that into like a puddle of water thinking it's gonna work. It doesn't uh, so uh, For cleaning and stuff you actually want to keep an empty bottle full of water 
uh, which I did not bring for the review today, so I won't be able to like you know do all the rinsing and stuff. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this is just a review. I'm 100% sure it works, uh, and I imagine if you pick one up, uh, the Wearator, then you'll also be sure it works. Uh, it does come with uh, two different size tubes. Uh, you can actually see some of the wine that I didn't clean out properly there. Uh, but it does come with one that's slightly shorter than the other. It has fit almost every bottle that I've put it in. Uh, there was a bottle of spirits uh, that was really tall. Uh, it was a bottle of whiskey. Uh, it was a tall bottle, so it didn't always get down. So it was only able to dispense it to about the last two inches. Uh, but at the same time, once the liquid goes below the line of the straw, it won't come out anymore. So, But aside from it's fit every wine bottle I've used, just not one of these you know, fancy whiskeys I had. Instant wine area user manual. This is actually an excellently uh, well-written manual. Uh, you know, very easy to read, uh, but it's a pretty simple device. So I don't understand why you'd need the user manual, but it's there. It just gives you the basic stuff. AAA batteries, output, how to clean it, uh, everything like that. Uh, I do try to clean it every, I mean, I don't really clean it every bottle of wine. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a dirty person, but at the same time, you know, I do occasionally run water through it, uh, especially if it's been sitting on a bottle top for a while. Uh, so it just goes through all that. I mean, overall, you don't need the manual. You know how to work it, but, you know, it is there. And it is a professional quality manual. You'll notice the quality of paper and everything. Uh, they probably went a little bit overboard on that manual because wine aficionados are picky. Uh, but now let's go ahead and get into the fun part. Psych, you thought I was going to be drinking? Okay, I am going to be drinking, but first we need to talk about the uh, actual quality. I guess I was in a little rush and forgot it. Uh, it looks like it's made out of uh, an ABS resin type plastic. Uh, you can actually see some of the back connectors uh, right there. Let me go ahead and see if I can do it. You can actually see the uh, ribs in there. Uh, so not only is it, uh, you know, it's not just thin plastic, it's actually ribbed in there for support. Uh, so no matter how hard you squeeze, you can crush that. I'm not saying it's indestructible. It is plastic. Uh, but at the same time, it's, you know, it looks sharp. It's well made. Uh, this is the actual device. There's not much to it. You can see the little, uh, I don't want to say it's a pneumatic pump, but some type of pump in there. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what the actual operation is, but overall it seems to be working. Uh, so you have that. All right, but overall the construction, it's uh, mainly plastic. Um, you can actually see that little line right there, uh, which looks like somebody over tightened that screw or pushed on something. I don't like that very much, but aside from that, uh, you know, overall well made. Uh, now let's get to the drinking. All right, so uh, you can see I have this uh, Behringer, which like I said, I've never heard of, never tried. Uh, and then the Barefoot Merlot, which I can't specifically remember trying, but probably have. Uh, it's a decent $6 wine, so. Uh, you know, there it is. All right, so basically, uh, I don't really normally pay attention to the stem. I just grab one and put it in because it doesn't really matter. Uh, but at the same time, in this case, I'm going to actually use the longer stem uh, because I actually paid attention this time. It's actually really simple to use. You basically just lock into there. Uh, and this is actually the area where my veneera broke right here. See this plastic nipple? Uh, on my veneera, it was uh, hard plastic built into hard plastic. So when you're washing it and stuff, it breaks. Uh, this one has some flexibility. You can see I can push on it and everything. Uh, so I hate to keep trash in the veneer because it did work well, but I'm still upset that that nipple broke and that no one would answer my emails. Die veneer. All right, so it's just as simple as that. You basically just slide on the tube and then slide it right in the bottle. And bam, it's that simple to install. Uh, as you can see, it took seconds and it's ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and, of course, as you can see how much class I have, I will be pouring the wine into a plastic cup today. You can hear it operate. And actually, from that angle right there, you can see all the bubbles there. So we do like that. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and just hold it up there uh, so you can obviously see that thick layer of bubbles there. Uh, I do have my camera slightly angled so you can see it, uh, but it's definitely got some aeration. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop this off and pour some into... Uh, glass. You can see how much mess that this normally is. Oh man, I'm making a mess. Alright, there. So that's mainly why I use the Wearator all the time. Uh, and here's the comparison of the two directly out of the bottle. Uh, you have this one, which has actually been sitting uh, for that a length of time that you saw, and you have this freshly poured one. Uh, so you can obviously see the difference in the bubbles. This is obviously the one that has not been aerated whatsoever. Uh, and you can, do, you can see the bubbles fade. 
Uh, so we'll go ahead and top this off because I plan on killing it and looking forward to it. Uh, and first I'm going to go ahead and try this. Of course in a single swig, like I said, I never pretended to have it in class. I mean that's, that's not definitely not a wine I would choose normally. Uh, the Barefoot Merlot is definitely not my favorite. A little try aerated. A couple swigs. I mean, it definitely does. Uh, definitely increases the bouquet. Uh, I overall, I mean, to be honest, I didn't like it either way. Uh, without aeration, I would describe it as a D plus wine. After aeration, I would describe it as a C minus wine. But I'm not really a Merlot fan. Uh, but just to be totally fair, we'll go ahead and give her another try. I mean, you know, gotta gotta give it a fair chance. Uh, one thing is, is it doesn't leak. Uh, too much. So uh, if you put your finger up there, it does have some left, but it's not dripping out, which I like. You can see the aeration there. And even though, like I said, it is now a C minus, it went from a D plus to maybe a C plus or a C minus wine. Uh, we'll go ahead and give her another try. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that Merlot, uh, but the aeration definitely, uh, you know, give it one more sample. That won't hurt at all. Uh, but the aeration definitely does uh, help quite a bit. Okay, so I mean it's not bad. Uh, I have a couple more of my uh, high class cups here. And then we're going to go ahead and go with the Behringer. Uh, notice I already did open it for the ease of the video. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and transfer it to a new bottle here. Alright, so we do have that. Oh, I probably should have poured an unaerated one. Alright, so we have that exactly how it looks unaerated and this is the Behringer Cabernet Sauvignon and we'll go ahead and aerate some all right I mean you can definitely see the difference there this one I poured first but it has a very thick layer of bubbles there so uh, that level of oxidation is uh, very obvious there uh, so we'll go ahead and do another taste test it's a hard job but somebody's got to do it Actually, huh? You know, for a six or seven dollar bottle of wine, that's that's actually pretty good. The Barringer Cabernet Sauvignon. That's six dollar bottle of wine. That's that's not bad at all. I don't know. Uh, I drink cheap wine, so I doubt any of the wines I buy for you know under ten dollars. I'm going to give an A or a B to. Uh, but we'll go ahead and give that a C plus. I kind of like that. Uh, now aerated, you can kind of see that after a few minutes, the bubbles are calming down, but. Uh, it's still aerated, so let's go ahead and give that a taste. That is much better. Wow. Behringer. I've never heard of you before, but uh, you're not bad at all. I mean, you're no barefoot California Moscato, but you're definitely getting the job done. Uh, we'll go ahead and be, just to be fair, we'll give this a second taste. You can see how easy the dispensing is. Uh, I'm kind of uh, crazy about the little drop. No drops are actually dripping out. I'm just, uh, I guess, paranoid. Uh, so let's give it a second taste. That's actually really good. So definitely enjoying that. So let's, a little more won't hurt. 1.2 ounces per second. You can actually see the stream as, uh, let's go ahead and see if I can catch that. Oh, missed. You can see the stream is very, very, uh, consistent so the 1.2 ounces every second I'm not gonna go ahead and measure that uh, for a bartender that may be important for me drinking wine at home I really don't care uh, but at the same time let's go ahead and give it a third fourth whatever taste it takes don't worry I'm gonna kill these bottles before it's all said and done maybe not on camera I mean overall it definitely makes the wine better uh, I'm not a big fan of this uh, barefoot Merlot uh, like I said, but it definitely does make it, ter turns into a wine I probably wouldn't want to drink to something I would drink. Gold 2011 Critics, boo, you guys suck, because that wine is not good. And then we have the Behringer Bold and Balanced Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, which I enjoyed. Um, overall, pretty good. Let's go ahead and... Definitely enjoying that. 
So, uh, I'm not going to just sit here and drink on camera the whole time. Uh, that doesn't seem very responsible or fun for you. Uh, and so, but at the same time, uh, we do have the wear rater there. Uh, you can see it from the top here. We'll go ahead and uh, looks like if you pour it on its side, looks like a couple drops did leak out there, uh, but only until I put it on its side. Uh, but overall, wear it here looks like it's doing good. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and hit one more glass there, like in this Cabernet. So uh, as soon as I finish this uh, final aerated glass, we will come back, I'll clean it up, and we'll... Uh, Go with for the final result okay and we are back uh, with the uh, I guess the final conclusion of the product review overall I love the wear raider uh, I'm not a wine aficionado I am a wine drinker I'm just a kind of like a regular guy um, and I you know I don't really drink expensive wines so you know I know a lot of you snobs out there are going to judge me of having no class and that's fine I don't it's cool uh, but overall I definitely love the wear raider uh, my number one reason to use the wear raider, honestly, is the lack of mess. I'm a messy guy, pouring wine and stuff. I know it seems simple for all you people out there, but I have a tendency to make a mess, especially when drinking. Uh, so the number one reason I like the wear raider and the reason I like the Veneera before it um, is the lack of mess. Uh, I'm experienced with wine aeration. I have a decanter. I have a Venturi wine bolt. You know, the, basically it just attaches to the top in the place of a cork. Uh, I had a Venera before the plastic nipple broke and they wouldn't answer my emails. Uh, and now I have a Wear Raider and they do answer emails, which I tested before even purchasing this for 70 bucks. Um, overall, I love the Wear Raider. Uh, of course, the number one reason is the lack of mess. I put it on a bottle. Uh, I drink that bottle completely and then it's done. I actually leave the Wear Raider on the lid in place of the cork as a preservation system. Uh, I do think that it's not quite as good as a preservation system as the cork itself, but at the same time, I'm lazy and I don't want to move it. Uh, so I just actually just leave it on the bottle just like a cork, put it right in the fridge with the wearator on it, and I'm good to go. Uh, of course, the second reason is to take a poor wine and make it better, or make a good wine and make it awesome. Uh, so it definitely improves uh, almost everything I've ever put it through. Uh, with the exception of spirits, I've tried whiskey and I've tried vodka and I've tried rum. I wouldn't say that it makes the spirits any better, but it does make it way easier to dispense. And once again, we're going to go back to the lack of mess. Uh, and mainly that's why, uh, you know, I, I dispense spirits with it just simply for the, for the lack of mess. And, the, you know, the constant pour allows you to make the drinks the same over and over. Uh, overall, the Wearator is a fantastic device. Uh, it'll make a not-so-great barefoot Merlot into a... Meh, okay, drinkable Merlot. Uh, and we'll take a solid Behringer Cabernet Sauvignon that I've never heard of and turn it into a good, maybe good-ish Cabernet Sauvignon. So for overall for me, the lack of mess and the improvement of a cheap bottle of wine I just bought uh, is definitely a thumbs up. Uh, the price you pay seems very reasonable uh, and fair. And I would imagine that a wine aficionado or you know somebody with class would actually enjoy it and get a lot more use and you know feel a lot more uppity than I do over using it. Overall, definitely, uh, this is a three thumbs up from the Gadget Guide. Uh, I'm big about the uh, push button aerators. I love them. Uh, and overall, I would definitely recommend anybody that drinks wine, even if you're an occasional wine drinker, to pick up an aerator uh, and go ahead and uh, you know enjoy it. Uh, one day they'll have them for box wine. Not a big, big box wine guy, but at the same time, uh, if it can turn that cheap swill into anything better, I'm definitely for it. I do appreciate you watching my product review today of the Wearator Instant Wine Aerator. It's an electric single push button wine aerator. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, you can email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Uh, and if you need help with any of your strange home projects, uh, you can always email me. Uh, I always appreciate you, and thank you for your time.